newest recruit. Why on earth wouldn't I come to meet you? Because you're... you're the Homelander. John, and it's not Starlight all the time, is it? Annie. Annie January. Welcome to the Seven, Annie. I... I still can't believe I'm actually here. It comes as no surprise to me, Annie. Your performance in the trials was remarkable. We allow very, very few newcomers in the Seven. We simply can't afford to take the risk. I know. Please don't think I'm not taking this seriously. It's just, you know, I've admired you for as long as I can remember. Your incredible kindness, how wise you are. You're going to have me blushing in a moment. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, this is amazing. I mean, back in Des Moines with the young Americans, we didn't have anything like this. There were times we had to meet at my aunt's apartment. Do you think you'll miss them? I'm sure I will. Is there someone special? Drummer boy from the team. We actually met at Capes for Christ in one of the junior ministries. That's great. And, you know, we didn't want to ruin things. We're waiting. That's great. Oh, this is where you... Yes, have a seat. Relax, you've earned it. I'm really here. I know it's probably only temporary, but... Well, you know that's what we said in the beginning, but I'll be honest with you, Annie. I can't see the lamplighter ever coming back. So, I... I thought you'd have all kinds of trophies here. You know, memorabilia from all your old battles. We did. It just seemed a smack of triumphalism. I was never comfortable with that kind of thing. Some of the others disagree, but I prefer to see what we do as spreading peace, not inflicting defeat. That's so true. This, you know, it's the very pinnacle of everything I've ever hoped for. To serve the Seven, I mean, there's just no higher a super person can go. I told you, Annie, you deserve it. You've worked so hard. There's just one final test for you to pass, and I know you're going to excel at that, too. Hmm? Suck it. Uh, 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 Homelander, um... Suck it. What, what's the matter with you? Nothing beyond the fact that I want a blowjob and, incredibly, seem to be encountering communication difficulties. You, you can't, you can't mean it. You just can't mean it. Hey, what's up? Black Noir and A-Train. Oh, thank the Lord. <gasps> oh, God! You're going to force yourselves on me. Christ, no. Nobody's forcing anyone to do anything. No, it's all a question of how badly you want to join the Seven. You mean I have to have sex with you to join the team? Well, Bill Clinton might argue the definition with you, but yes. But you're the Seven, for crying out loud. I mean, this is completely disgusting. It's a betrayal of everything you stand for. You're Earth's most mighty. You bring justice to all. You avenge the innocent. You're the Seven. Yes, and we'd like to get our d sucked. Can't stop the A-Train. Go to hell. Well, in that case, good luck back in the Corn Belt. What? With what's his name and... Uh... Whatever they're called. What I know? I think I'd have to say it's a lot more than you do, Huey. But that's not your fault. It's because I've kept so much from you. I don't even know if it's a good idea to tell you everything. It might be absolutely terrible. And when you read what I have to say, you'll see why. Everyone says it's bad to have secrets in a relationship. It's always better to get things out in the open. But I'm a little suspicious of the idea. I wonder if it might be better just to be discreet. Anyway, you're not interested in what you call soups, so you don't know I'm a superhuman. My name is Starlight. I can fly and I can generate bursts of intense bright light. Someone once told me as much as one million candle power. I'm also a member of the Seven, the most powerful super team on Earth. 
They're horrible people, and I wish I'd never met any of them. I'm getting ready to quit. The other thing you don't know... <laughs> ...is what I did to join the Seven. I don't know how to put it into words. I mean, I do. It's obvious. What I mean is, I don't know how to make myself type the words. Just thinking it is hard enough. What I did was so disgusting and demeaning and unbelievable that I'm scared you... Oh my god. Muslims and Jews and the Buddhists and all the other people who believe what they believe and the atheists, especially the atheists, they're all wrong. And that's the first thing you have to accept. As a Christian, there is no compromise. No considering other points of view. No meeting anybody else halfway. You either believe in Jesus Christ as your personal savior, or you don't. And if you don't, I, uh, I pity you. Because turning your back on the Are there more like her, do you think? Like her? I don't even know that. Ain't she one of yours? She's a believer in this sh in super sh truth and justice and rah rah rah. Her faith's taken a few dents, of course, largely due to being exposed to us. And it got a little compromised at the beginning when she blew me and two of the others just to get onto the team. But a believer she remains. Seriously, she blew. Me. She was crap. The only fun in it was seeing little Miss American way with all over her principles. The question I'm asking is, how many more of our fraternity share her outlook on life? <laughs>